Hey everyone, welcome to Stand Up Analysis. We're going to be reviewing a stand up set and analyzing what we did and why we did it and what we liked and maybe what we didn't like. If you like this type of content, give us a like, comment, subscribe. But before we start, comic, do you want to introduce yourself and maybe give us context uh, of the set before we dive in? Um, hi, it's Jatuan Whedon. I'm in Arizona. This was an improv style show. The audience was quite chatty and I was the headliner. If you won the night, you would be the next month's paid headliner. So I was paid because I'd won the previous month. Um, by the time I had gotten on stage, uh, the audience was kind of rowdy. Like they wanted to chat with me. And it's the first time I've really had to uh, try to decide to stay on track or to give them sure. more. And so, um, and then the, the host told me we're running out of time. So I'm like, how much can I play with them? Sure. Yeah, let's, let's see. Without further ado, let's see. Let's get that round of applause. Keep it going. Look at Jets on me Okay, how do you feel about your opening moment? Usually when I comment on the songs, they go with me a little more because at this club, the the DJ always plays weird music for me. Sure. And today I was, I was like surprised I said something and they were like, okay, we don't care. <laughs> I, th I, th I, have a, I, I have a hypothesis of why. Okay. Uh, anything else on your opening moment before I, I, I go? Um, I had a lot more... Um, stuff with me that day so I was a little more focused on like putting this down and I tried to as I walk up like look at them all and kind of what and I actually I thought you could see that I waved a little before I went up but I don't I guess maybe I'm not on camera yet it's, it's a weird audience reaction that like okay we have applause here yay music hits audience goes silent really fast which is which is Interesting, because normally they'd applaud people more with mm -hmm. them, so like already silent. Okay, but but we're not paying attention to the, like we might have waved off stage, but now we we don't have focus on the audience. Music is playing. We're doing business. We're doing business. We're doing business. So it's just like it's just dead time. It's just dead time right now. Where well, the music, we're, we're basically just listening to dead time. Finally, we start to we start to groove, not towards the audience. We're, we're still focused on the mic, but we, at least we start to groove. Audience gives us energy. They like that we started to groove. Yeah, they start to clap. They're like, let's play with her. Let's play with her. Our first move is... I'm not gonna dance. No, no, you see, oh, this fun thing we're doing together? No, I'm not gonna, no, no, bad, bad. Like, so they're like, <laughs> yay, yeah, you started the groove. You started a mini dance, right? Right, so so we sort of negated this huge bid after a moment of like nothingness. We finally get them going, and then we negate their first bid. So they're sort of like, oh, okay. I'm not going to. We get a little, we get a little laugh. But then also now, now I, hey, hey, hey guys, how, how you guys? I'm kind of like, oh, I'm kind of. Oh, hey, uh, do, do I seem like I'm selling these words? That I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you with my full chest, or am I? Is this kind of lower? And like, oh, oh, is every right? We're sort of like a settle down energy instead of a rile up energy at the beginning. Do we see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, look, 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 look. We, we, we always have business to do with a mic. We always have to f fix a mic, do a mic cord. Look, this just fell off, but I'm still focused on you. I can focus on you while doing physical things. We do yeah. it all day. We talk with our phone, we talk with our hands. So yeah, you have to put your stuff down, but the, it should always be audience number one. Always yeah. audience number one, yeah. especially up yeah. top. So, and, and one of the big reasons for that, among among energy reasons, among creating a likability, is if something goes wrong with the mic, if I'm if I don't focus on you, if I go, uh, 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 and then something goes wrong with the mic, I have to go, uh, I have to create that moment in a moment of panic and awkwardness. Versus if I go, hey, how we doing? How we doing? And I grab the mic, oh my god, I already have a dynamic. To, to laugh off something that goes wrong, if the stool fell over, or if the, if the mic is harder than usual, or if the mic cord comes off. So, so the, like, we need that dynamic to be able to leverage in case something goes wrong. So it's like, yeah. it's always, always audience first. What's up, y'all? I'm just Juan Whedon. I 
Thank you. Right, right. And I, once again, w at, at the beginning of our set, the true beginning, we were kind of rambly and kind of loud and then the kind of say, like subconsciously we were implying like, hey, just shuffle this under the rug. I don't, you don't really need to pay attention to me with the way I'm saying this. But at least now we sort of like, hey, I'm Jatuan Whedon. And we we said it more confidently and we landed the space to say, I'm, I said this, now I'm waiting for your response. This is this is your part of the conversation to fill. Yeah. So, so, so to me, this this feels more like true stand-up where it's a conversation versus before okay. it, it felt like you sort of situating yourself on stage but as an audience member i wasn't clear what my my part was Does that make sense no absolutely uh, yeah but i, lo I love it like like if we could have we could have started here great <laughs> with this dynamic i'm a wife of 24 years yeah i know i know i look great i look great for my age right i wasn't a child bride i'm almost 50 calm down um, we have two kids, so I know, right? You know, you know what they say. You know what Great, they say. I, I love all, I love all this. The only thing I maybe think we could change and do a different. I like the personality of calm down, but once again, up top. I don't like any move that subconsciously yeah. tells the audience do less, be quiet. So it's like, like I'm, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, I'm almost fifty. Yeah, talk to you after the show. Like we could just as easily make a dynamic without it being a stifling move, but being a, a celebratory and ending that noise move. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, I, I love I love the play between the audience. Like, calm down. Oh, you're getting too excited. But because we want to rile them up and, and get their energy no, to talk. No, ab like, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um. yeah. We still fuck. <laughs> yeah. Also, also, we could have once again. Um, so right, right now we've sort of been very, um, you know, you know, we're only a minute and twenty seconds in, but we sort of have been like, hey, talking, talking in the mic, hey, ideas, ideas, big personality, but still just ideas. But I'm almost fifty. Ooh, ooh, these are fifty. This is like we could have done of our first like physical bit of like fashion show about like I'm I'm sexy fifty or whatever. Like, ooh, don't look there. Ooh, 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 ooh do look here. Ah. Uh, but there, there could have already been a, a heightening into the physical realm instead of us relying completely on the vocal line uh, th this far into a set. Do you see that? Yeah, absolutely. No, I yeah. uh, I usually play with it more, but then I'm thinking, oh, he wants me to cut my time and this and this. And um, I dig into it. I say how adorable I am for 50. And... Um, uh, I just kind of go with as long as they'll have me in that realm. And I didn't used to say that because, but I started doing it recently because I realized people were kind of confused as to how I could be with someone so long. Because oh, I, sure. Because I forget people don't realize my age. So that's why I started addressing it because people were like, whoa, 24 years. How old is this chick? You know? Yeah, it's it's good to know what what people's perception of us is and the, the questions that will commonly arise when we uh, introduce bits because if it's a big enough question, they'll stop listening to your stand up because they'll be so curious. Like I uh, like I, oh, I among other comics, I've worked with a few that have been to jail and anytime they tell a jail story like oh I was in prison, if they don't say why they were in prison, the audience like can't listen to the rest of it. Like sometimes the audience will stop their stand up and be like, "What were you in for?" and they have to like exactly. go back and address it. So whatever that thing is with the information you're dropping, it is so good to know it and address it preemptively. Otherwise, the audience will be like, "What is that thing? What is that thing? I need to know that thing. Shut up and Tell me about that thing. So yeah. great, great, great. That yeah. call. Uh, and once again, I, I, uh, uh, um, it's easy to do in my chair watching after the fact instead of being in it. But yeah, we still fuck. Like I said, pretty cute. Like we could have gone back to the, the, the yeah. hand primping, the thing we've already taught them, yeah. and play that play that game again, that's, round two. Like I, like I said, sexy ass 50 or whatever. Uh, uh, no, that's uh, cute. I like I'll, that. I'm going to have another kid in another 15 years. You watch me or whatever. You know, yeah. I would have been staying in this world instead of trying to teach them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, sort of like the next, the next thing to play with. And once again, it's easy for me to activate these moves, but anytime we're like, yeah, I still fuck. If we want to make an idea, yeah, you still fuck too. We could also, this is also a great time to like oh. further bring in the audience and show this is this is about us, not just about me. Like, yeah, I still fuck. You definitely still fuck. Ooh, yeah. I'm going to fuck you later or, I, or whatever. But, but it's a great I, moment. I, that, like that, 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 I like that. that. I think you could say, I bet, I bet you still fuck too. That would be a yeah. point at somebody. I like that. I Thank hope you. you still fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> if not, if not, what a waste. Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's a yeah. perfect op- We're already talking with the audience. And so it's so easy to activate that move and really get those rapport dollars while we're in this pocket before we go back to next. And now I'm going to tell you about things that's going to teach you that you can't really play because you have to sit in your chair and listen. So we want to get as much interactivity in the interactivity pieces Mm -hmm. so the audience will be will have more trust as we go through the next non-interactive piece that eventually will get to a button that they can press yeah i love it i love it i'm in a competition tonight i'm gonna use this oh yeah competitions are i i hate tight tightly timed sets and i hate competition just because of like how i feel about the art form of spoken word and stand-up competitions yeah yeah yeah, but but competitions, it's so many comics just be like, chuck, 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 did I win? And like that, those two comics that are like, hey, let's just vibe, stand out so much. Stand out because everyone is so focused on love me, love me, love me, love me, love me, love me, love me. Versus the comics that are like, hey, can we maybe love each other? And like, it, it, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All I've been thinking in my head for this, because it's not a big competition, it's just like a head to head kind of thing. It's just a play. Um, but all I keep thinking about when I set the setup for these type of things is save room for savoring. So when I yeah. when I mark my time, I always take like an extra joke out or I always time myself short because I want to make sure there's time to leave the spontaneity that they love so much. Yeah. So, um, but no, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm going to savor it. I want to make sure that we enjoy it and don't just rush to the next move. So, yeah, if, if you don't leave that time, I, I, I've never, I've never heard it like that, but I, I might steal that as a good way to contextualize it. It'd be like, imagine if you're on a date and every minute of the date is planned, then I'll ask you what, how, what you think about kids. And then you will answer. there's one minute for you to answer. Then I will do this. Then you'll do that. Like it's a terrible date if it's so to the minute agenda and that's what our stand-up is if we don't have that vibe time if we don't have that time for savory it's it's like here's the date but you you take that shot exactly this time you eat that exactly now no we have to move on oh no no if something came up we can't we don't have time we got to stay on the agenda it's like uh, yeah ideally we have that that time for savoring i like that yeah can you believe that after almost 20 years together even got out of fucking pull out Okay, so we asked this, like, can you believe, which, like, can, can, can you believe he forgot how to pull out? As an audience member, I'm like, like are, you expecting, are you expecting me to answer? Are you, is this more of a rhetorical thing? Is this is more of a, so, so we, have a, we have a response, but this, we sort of left an awkwardness in the ear because we sort of, in, in the syntax of our sentence, we have requested a response, but it's a, a nebulous response of how the audience is supposed to, so we have to sort of, like, pretend, you know what I'm saying? Like, with, with, with no, how that does this random. I need to we make it a... Statement. Yeah. 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 After 20 years of marriage, he forgot how to pull out. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. If yeah. you're having sex later, you better remember to pull out. You could even call back the, the people that are having sex with the like the you you're having sex. You're having sex. Remember, you're still having sex. Remember to pull out. You're still having sex. Remember to pull out. You yeah. don't have to pull out. Uh, you know, you could we could recall back that game. We point at the audience having sex and do part two, the pull out version. Yep, absolutely. I I love when I come out and I say this filthy joke and I'm fully aware I look like HR worker or something. Like, like I'm gonna rate myself up for this shit, right? And she does. <laughs> I love you agree with me. That's great. Keep that up. Oh, you, we, well, anyway, it's easy to do after the fact, but even that, like, oh, she does. Oh, I'm gonna write you up for that. Oh, ooh, like we could have stayed in the pocket of the joke with our with our uh, audience play with the ideological i like well, i love that we played i love that we played with them we did a great job of, of pivoting and then talking to them but the next level is doing all that while staying in the logical world that we, we started to build with this joke so so that so that when we go back to written material it's easier because the audience play was in this world and when we jump back to that world it's, it's a minor step instead of jumping all the way from the logical idea to meet the audience where they're at then i have to jump all the way back to the logical pocket and it's more likely that the audience sees me code switch right yeah yeah Exactly. But like, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what to say. I, I wanted to address yeah, yeah, her, yeah, right, right. but not too much because she was one of the chattier ones previously. Um, sure. So like, it, it felt like I was dancing, like I wanted to engage, but I didn't want them to think we're having like a thing here, a back and forth. Yeah. This, so, this is one of the da- this is one of the dangerous so things about about what I call well I call my style or like or when you train the audience that they are allowed to make noise 
is the ne'er do wells, or not even the ne'er do wells, the people that are sort of like, I want to play and I want to, I, like the naughty dog syndrome. If they like us, but they don't necessarily have the best habits of how they want to interact with us, it will sort of enable them. So at, at times, once they've been enabled to make noise, you do have to pick and choose your battles about like, I need, you just said something so loud that I have to resolve it for the rest of the audience, but I have to make sure that you know that you kind of aren't allowed to do more of this. And I have to do that in a way that makes me not seem like a bully. Uh, so it, it does it does cause some like nuanced moves to be made about like, oh, ha, 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 but now I'm going to talk to these people because I don't want you to think I'm still talking to you. It's like either yeah, like, to, like turn yeah, or to, like, to, like slightly play or like, yeah, yeah. But but it, it is it is very nuanced uh, and it's hard it's, for me. Uh, it's like, so always tricky. do this because like it'll it'll be different every time with, with the move. In in general, you need to resolve the moment that they created by shouting out. You need to make sure that they they know that I don't want you interrupting more. But you have to stay friendly the whole time and like whatever you can do to like yep. uh, activate those three moves. Great. Great. Keep that up. <laughs> keep that up. We. Yeah, I like that. Keep that up. Keep that up. And then we. I, I love when I come out. And then we stop engaging. One, one of the easiest ways to show someone that, hey, I don't want to play with you anymore is to like either like di disengage physically or sometimes if they're on one side of the audience, literally turn your body so you can say like the focus of the room is not on you anymore. And it's a way like you can friendly resolve this but say like, hey, now this is done. We're in next chapter. It's a very, it's a very easy, subtle way to not seem like a bully, but de-emphasize them uh, uh, in, in a way. I can even make very realistic dicks. If we, and especially because if we did the, hey, I'll, I'll let the audience watching at home see what they're going to see, and then I'll explain how we could have. You want this dick? You want this dick? I got a good dick. You want this dick? Because if we had done something fun with a dog, like, it needs a good home. Maybe not you, blah, blah, We could have done the same thing with a dick. Oh, you want this dick? Yeah. It needs a good home. Not you. Uh, I can't be my home. I only take it in the butt now. You know, like, and then we could have even been calling back other sexual stuff that we've, we've mentioned as well in, in this moment. It's, look, look, it's a big moment. The audience is having fun. It's, it's already, like, you know, it's already really, really fun. But there are, there still are nuances, nuances that we could that make this fun energy last even longer. Uh, and, and I like that. I can throw out the dog talking. and like. I like that I can throw out the dog and be like, uh, he needs a good home. You want to play with him? And then I can say the similar line for when I yes. bring that. Oh, that's so good. Yeah. 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 So, uh, so uh, before I, before I give the outro to this video, are there any other of the concepts uh, or the things that we talked about that you want to revisit or just give another, another thought on to sort of like tie a bow around us having watched this together, things you would do next time, wouldn't do next time or any of the other things? I'm very yeah. proud of myself because you're making me think of these. When can I revisit this? Like, oh, like, sure. like, like, um, it's like serving a meal and you know, you won't finish it all there. You're like, cause there's always leftovers. And that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. There's always leftovers. So at the end of the set, have a couple leftovers. Like, you know, oh, that's yeah. I, ideally, ideally the end of a set is like the weekly meal where it's like all leftover meal, where it's like exactly. all five leftovers all mixed together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%. You've been putting uh, you've been putting that in my head so much, so I I really appreciate that. I feel like um, uh, do doing the jokes over and over and over helps you get better, but it also helps you deepen the joke, like make it more rich and 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 diverse. Like I had some spicy food yesterday. You can just go cayenne and out, it's spicy. Or you can season it just so you have all these multiple flavors and layers where it has that depth and rich to it. Like, I want to savor the moment, I want them to savor the moment. So why just give them one flavor? If you like this content and you're still watching, give us a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more comedy from either of us, our socials will be in the descriptions. Any words of parting before I uh, sort of like end the recording? Have a good night. Have a good day. Thank you.